Okay, so myself Ravi Kumar. Now I will explain how to construct square prism, square pyramid, and hexagonal prism, hexagonal pyramid, hexagonal pentagonal prism, pentagonal pyramid, hexagonal prism, hexagonal prism, and then triangle pyramid cone and as well as cylinder. So first I'll go with the square prism. So square prism they given base is 30 mm, height is 50. Square pyramid base is 30 mm, height is 50. So square prism. So first I need to consider the 30 by 30 square. So 30. Okay. So angle is 30 degree. 30 angle is 150. 30 angle is minus 150. Next join. So for this find out the midpoint. Or else you take any one edge from that, you take height is 50, angle is 90. Okay, take any one side. So then select this complete base, go to more option with copying, select this end point, then place. Okay, so select this edge, then go to more option. So select this end point, then place it at the end points. Over next, so delete the invisible edges. So go to trim option, delete all this invisible edges. Okay, so this is how to construct the square prism. Next, how to construct square pyramid that is very important. So similarly, take base is 30, angle is 30, then 30, 150, 30 minus 150, then join. So here you must find out the middle. This edge midpoint to the this edge midpoint, and this edge midpoint to the opposite edge midpoint. See from this intersection point, or else you can trim any one point. You can take this intersection point, and then height is 50, angle is 90. After that, join all the corners. Okay. Join here. So next, so which are the invisible edges are there that you need to trim. So trim all those invisible edges. Okay, so this is the square pyramid. So similarly, you go for constructing the hexagonal prism and hexagonal pyramid. We'll take hexagonal prism first. So hexagonal prism, as I said earlier, so 48 should be in the, you know, right hand side, 48 point. Angle is 30. Next, 46.17. Angle is 150. Next, 48.54. Angle is minus 150. Next, join. Okay. After that, I'll, I'll use you know right hand method or I'll use arc method or center point. I'll take this point. Okay. So 9.27. Angle is 30. Sorry, sorry, don't give any angle. Okay. So from this point, 9.27 radius. It is not taking correct. But you should take exactly end point. See, exactly end point. If you're taking exactly end point, you'll get exact line. Two seven. Cut. Similarly, take opposite side. 9.27. Again, from this point, so 28 point, so this one 28 point, 53, 28 point, 53. So again, from this side, 28 point, 53. Okay, so trim one side. Trim one side, then put line, join in points or in. I'll copy once and I'll paste it in the place I required it for uh, you know constructing the pyramid. So next for prism the base is over 
take any one side it takes it is how much 50 angle is 80 so select base go to move option select this end point okay then place it then select this and go to move option with copying the till this point and place end point and so you need to place it at end points okay so this is the square prism and then go to delete the invisible lines select it and delete okay this is the pentagonal prism so now i'll go for pentagonal pyramid so pentagonal pyramid will put a midpoint so from this corner to the opposite edge midpoint any two side is enough corner to the opposite edge midpoint from here also corner to the opposite edge midpoint okay from this point you need to take height is how much okay, from this, this point you need to take height is 50 and 90 <coughs> after that join on the corner Visible point, just trim it. Okay, so this one is also visible. So, this is the pentagonal pyramid. So, next I'll go for uh, hexagonal prism and as well as pyramid. So, prism, as we shall see. So we have you know we have constructed in the previously same thing we need to use it for constructing the hexagonal. See we have previously constructed the hexagonal. So similarly I have copied that. So we constructed next from the base point to take it is how much 50 and it is 90 degree. So next select this base, go to move option with copying on end point. Place it on end point. It is not placing because I have not selected the correct end point. So if you correct end point, it will be placed exactly. See now here also I not copied correctly. See now it is placed properly. So select this line, go to move. See correct end point you need to choose. If you are not, you will not get the Thing. Okay, so next end point, end point. So delete in the pages. So this is the hexagonal prism. So next, I need to go for hexagonal pyramid. So hexagonal pyramid, end point, opposite edge, opposite corner end point. Here you need to join all diagonal. Okay, two is enough. So trim one end, then from this point, take it is 50 and it is 90. So then join on the lines. Okay, so on lines. Like that, then one to lines, we just delete it. I need to go for square pyramid in a triangle pyramid and cone triangle pyramid. Any so we need to consider the triangle. So basis 30, okay, angle is 30, 30, and 150, 30, and minus 50, and I'll join. Okay, next to that, so we'll go for midpoint. Okay, then after that, opposite edge. Delete the lines, any two, three lines, and delete. Then I'll take another opposite edge, my 
point okay next from this point from this center point i need to take a it is how much okay angle is angle is 90 now join all the corners okay so this is the triangle pyramid now delete all the so this is how to construct a triangle pyramid. Next we'll go for cone. See cone I'll take a base diameter is 30. So similarly I need to construct 30 angle is 30 30 square. Okay. So 30 angle is 150, 30 angle is minus 150. Join. So from this opposite edge midpoint, from this opposite edge midpoint, from this opposite edge midpoint. This opposite edge midpoint. Next, go for arc and fix to the one so end point, end point. Okay, so similarly from here to the end point. If you are not getting, just hold halt. Okay, and get it. After that, intersection. So next end point to the when not getting hold just hold alt okay next this point to the this point when not getting just hold alt okay then join from here to that so from this midpoint from this midpoint we take a it is how much 50 is 90. Now I'll tell you how to join the lines here. The very important you need to join. See if you are not connecting, you just go to extend to next, just click on here, it will get connected. Okay. So next Point to the tangent. See if, if you where your tangent is receiving, just place the point there. Okay. Tangent. So next from here also tangent symbol. You should get tangent symbol. There only you need to leave the point. So and trim it. If you have extended line also, you can trim. You can zoom. Zoom one, go to trim option, and trim. So this is how to construct the cone. So similarly, I'll go for cylinder. So cylinder also 30 mm, 30 mm. Right. I'll take 30 angle is 30, 30, 150, 30 minus 150. Join. Okay. So from this point, you take. Is how much 50 okay so after that take a line so similarly corner to the opposite edge midpoint 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 i'll take a zoom and go for joining zoom and then join we'll go for arc Take this to the same opposite edge mark and from here. I'll take this end point to the end point. Next, I'll take intersection end point to the end point. Here, I'll take intersection end point to the end point. Okay, so we'll go with a bit. So, I'll select place, go to move. Okay, end point. I'll fix it. Okay, after that I'll delete all the lines. Why? So you need to delete all the lines. Delete all the lines. So now go for line joining. 
ये टेंजेंट थ्री टेंजेंट This is how to construct the cylinder. Just train the space only. And this is how to construct. So thank you. Thank you for watching this.